Assalamu alaikum. And hello YouTube birds. Pro 2 is here. This is a project for Speed Hunter. Part 2. In my previous video. With single dish parabolic antenna. The maximum speed I can get is around 50 to 60 Mbps. My next DIY project is. I will upgrade my single dish parabolic antenna. To double dish parabolic 4G plus antenna. We will see if there are any changes of signal and speed if we upgrade to a larger dish. Want to know the result? Let's watch this video until the end. Two dish are what we need to make this project a success. There are four screw that hold this dish holder. A bit tight, maybe because the screw is rusty. Use impact driver and some lubricant or WD-40 to open the rusty screw. Both dishes are placed crosswise with each other. This bottom screw will meet the other's dish screw. Tie the dish together for a while. Mark the right and left side of the upper dish so that it can be properly lined together. I cut the edge of this dish using a cutter only. It's not an easy job. A grinder will make this cutting job easier if we have one. Using pliers to make this end dish straight. G clamp is used to level the surface of the dish so that it is even with the other dish. Otherwise, this is a DIY project. Any tools that can help us to done this job. We will use it. We will use anything and everything to accomplish our mission. Make four new holes so that we can tie this two dish together. Reattach the dish to gathers. Make four new holes more for the second dish. Now we can tie the dish together. Next, using the old bracket dish, make four new holes to mount the bracket holder. I spray the dish to cover some part. 
I don't want the dish get rust quickly. This single parabolic dish that still serves us with excellent condition. Next, we will mounting the original dish stand. Water level ruler are used to ensure that the base of the dish poles does not tilt. Ok we are done with the dish stand here. Time to take down the old dish. Needs 4 new holes to mounting the parabolic to the new dish. Measuring first the length of the double dish then we will spot the center of the double dish. The parabolic will be installed to the double dish. Some disadvantage when using the dish. The dish will startle and sway when the wind blow. It is quite difficult to place this dish up to 20 to 30 feet. So, we cannot mount the dish high. We just using the original stand to mount the dish. Some extra wire to hold the dish. This double dish is really heavy. Make sure the mounting is really really strong. In my previous video, I have explained, how do I look for signals and towers in my area. You can refer to the video if you need that information. I will leave the video link below. Use this information at your own risk. Any injury, damage, or loss that may result from improper use of any tools and equipment, or from the information contained in this video, the user must take responsibility. If you think this video helpful for you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. May the force be with you. Pro2DIY